Guys, welcome back to another episode of 10 Minute Wind Down. I am Miguel from SoCal Watch Reviews, and I got P. Yo, what's up, people? It's your boy P. Ross back in the building with another one. You understand? Yes, 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 yes. And today on the wrist, I got the Timex uh, Q or the Q Timex reissue. Mm. A lot of people hate on this watch. I picked it up at retail, so it's not that bad, less than 200 bucks. Yes, it's a course, but right. it's so charming, man. What are you wearing? Oh, yeah. Um, I am wearing the Omega Seamaster Deville oh, right now. Oh, you know what I'm saying? You know. Dang. All yeah. right. Nice. Yes, sir. Nice. Yes, sir. So, guys, uh, we got another hot one for you. P, what yeah, are we going to talk about? This, this, this is definitely a hot one. We have the Young Hans. Young Hans. However you pronounce it, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to hear that <laughs> in the comment section. I, I don't know how to pronounce it either. You know what so. I'm saying? <laughs> uh, this is a Max Bill set, two limited edition watches in black and white. In order to get both of them, you have to buy the set. Um, very, very interesting. I, I'm re I'm I love the white band, but before I get to the band, uh the case material, stainless steel, black dial, uh the 40 millimeter they're calling the chronoscope. And Correct. the the 34 millimeter they're calling the client automatic. Has a sapphire crystal, 30 meters water resistance. Uh, crown is push pull. Movement on the chronoscope is a J880.1. And the I think it's the same auto- movement, right? Nah, J- the Klein oh, no, no. the Klein is a J800.1. You're right. You're right. Sorry. Um, comes with a movement? black and white leather strap. The price, my brother, is three thousand three hundred and forty-five dollars. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's it's out of our price range for sure. But when you break it down, since you're getting the set, you're getting a his and you're getting a hearse because right. the chronograph is what forty, and the other one is yeah. thirty-four, which is classic. It's beautiful. So his and hers. So really, when you break it down, it's like sixteen hundred bucks per. But right. I mean, you're getting a quality German watch here. And to be honest with you, this is extremely sexy. It just, I, I never really been a fan of their watches because I, I don't know, that Maxville kind of kind of style uh, or, or oh, Bauhaus, Bauhaus style, I'm sorry. Right. I'm sorry, the Bauhaus style hasn't really appealed to me yet, but as a collector, you evolve. So I'm sure at one right. point I will fall absolutely in love with these. But what at I was one point, say, at one point I had actually bearded on one on eBay. It was the Mega Court. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, yeah, for sure. And um, it, 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 it was pretty, pretty dope. I lost the bid, but it got up to like $200. And after 200 I was like, uh-uh, I'm straight. But pretty dope watch. <laughs> No, these are these are definitely cool watches. I love the date wheel. They actually match the dials as a, as a black date wheel. Um, they have a little bit of loom there. Now, uh, some of the downfalls for me, of course, is, well, several things. Number one, the white band. I am not a fan of white bands. I like the fact that it comes with white and black, but I would have preferred maybe like a brown leather or maybe like a, a, a black NATO and a black leather or something like that. Uh, also, I don't like the water resistance. I mean, 30 meters, guys, no, th- th- this is not, not acceptable. And I know this is not just for the set. I know they have other watches in their collection that that's kind of what uh, the water resistance is. But also one of the downfalls for me is the two, uh, 200 uh, piece release because these are awesome. I think they should have these in the collection just as a, a regular PVD, you know, uh, type of watch. Uh, what do you think? What are, what are your downfalls? Uh, of course, the water resistance. That's just pure trash. You know what I mean? I think that the uh, the uh, function pushers on a 40 millimeter should have came on the 34 millimeter as well. You know what I mean? If they was going to match the setup. Now, I don't have a problem with the white strap. I think the white strap is something like totally different right now. I could go for that. I like that for this piece because it matches the hands, the indices, and all that stuff, right? You know what I mean? Um, 
Yeah, but, no, um, absolutely. The, wa the water resistance, definitely. And um, I would have liked to see the function pushers on the 34 millimeter. Although I know it's two totally different movements. You know what I mean? But, you know, they could. Yeah, no, that. for sure. For sure. And just reading it, uh, you know, we're reading from uh, Warren and Wound. Uh, the 34 millimeter actually follows uh, the same size uh, as the original design from the 1961. So they, they kind of kept the true to that. Right. But just because they kept the truth, yeah, they should definitely increase the water resistance. Now for the good for me is just the looks of them. I mean, amazing. They, they look so sexy in that black PVD and they both match. And it's so charming, so romantic to know that you can have a his and hers. And I mean, even your girl could be rocking the bigger one, like a boyfriend watch, and you could be rocking right. the more sleek one. And like I said, change the band on this to like a brown one, and you have a very, very professional looking watch that you can oh, walk yeah. into a board meeting and, and get away with it. You know what I mean? Uh, so the looks is one thing. And also, well, the fact that it sits in hers, I think that, that I find that very charming because it's a way to convince your girlfriend, your wife, to say, hey, I want to pick up a watch, but guess what? It comes with it comes in a set, and it's kind of a right. romantic thought. So I, I think that's pretty cool. What about you? What's yeah? I, de I definitely think it's cool. The set is great. You know what I mean? I tell you what, if I had like four thousand dollars that I could just spend, I would actually buy this one. Yeah, it's very nice. It, so I would actually get it. You know what yeah. I mean? Like I don't. There are a couple downfalls, but you know, a couple shortcomings. But overall, this is the shit. Sure. Yeah, and overall thoughts. I mean, for me, it's 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 a win. It's it's a yes. And although it's out of my price range, uh, I agree with this one. I think is is very good looking, very charming, very clean. Uh, you know, so for all the new collectors out there, uh, you know, look into these pieces. You you could you could go down a rabbit hole of so many different style pieces and and so many different chronographs, right? So you have something as simplistic yeah. as that, but then you bring in the Seiko. Uh, SNA 411 and this is just so complicated I mean it's, it's super cool but it's just completely different than that chronograph you know what I mean so right. uh in my opinion it's a win P it's definitely a win yes absolutely let's not forget I think the uh the J uh 880.1 automatic caliber has 48 hour power reserve yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, I mean they so, could have done a little better. They could have done yeah. a little better, but nonetheless, I mean this is this is super cool. Like I said, Max, you know, uh, it's the the it pays tribute to the Max Bill Variations uh, Five. Is it's kind of what kind of what it reads right here. But yeah, it's uh, it's cool. It's a win. It's a win for right. both of us. Oh yeah. So there you have it. Uh, that's been another episode of Ten Minute Wind Down. I am Miguel. You can find me on Instagram, SoCal Watch Reviews. And of course, my YouTube channel, SoCal Watch Reviews. Uh, follow me there, P. Yo, your boy P. Ross in the building, of course. You know what I mean? Ross Wristwatch Love Everywhere, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Check out the SoCal Watch Reviews Facebook podcast page, okay? Get into it, y'all. Get involved. Yeah, absolutely. Don't forget, we have a giveaway at uh, 500 subscribers for P, 1,000 yeah. subscribers for me. We're almost there. Help us get there. Um, I hope you've been, almost, almost. I hope you've been enjoying these series. We just started them. Uh, so yeah, uh, you know, show us your love. Uh, like the video, comment. It's so always stay humble. Peace. Peace and hair grease. We out. <laughs> Peace, my friend. <laughs>